You guys don't talk about extremists all the time. It is usually about MAGA extremists. So what about these protesters who are making Jewish I've students feel very, unsafe very on college campuses? Are they extremists? I've been very, very clear. We are calling out any form of hate. Oh, now, this love-hate relationship has me baffled because some hate and some love actually means love to hate. So hate is the opposite of love and cannot be compared to dislike. The Jews hate the Muslims and the Palestinian people and will not coexist with them because they see them as animals or a lower caste of species. And this is what's causing the problem. Now let's take a look at another word, mercy. So now, where is mercy in the law? Can the law... Uh, give mercy to persons or because of uh, the effect of law there must be punishment before i go any further i must bring to your attention what the bible has to say about love so in matthew 5 43 and 44 jesus gave the commandments and all christians must follow this teaching because it's very christian and, and you can't be a Christian and not do this, because this is very important. You have heard that it has been said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Before I quote three more scriptures, it is essential to address the importance of the law which must display mercy to the poor, especially towards widows and orphans. So I'm going to quote uh, three scriptures from Matthew 22, 27 to 40, actually it's four. This said, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Jesus said even they have it of violence from the days of uh, John the Baptist. So we could expect earth to have violence because Satan was cast towards the earth. I mean, Jesus summed it up beautifully when he said they excluded the weightier matters of the law, which is mercy and judgment without these two because judgment is solely with God it's not for them to judge mankind because we have two opposing kingdoms the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom here on earth with Satan rules that's why the law must be with mercy because we are here to save lives in Matthew 24 Jesus spoke about the widespread uh, deception that is going to take over the world which is going to lead people into uh, rebelliousness they think that they do in God justice by killing people. And and there's the next verse in the Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah 5.20. It says, uh, Woe to them who put evil for good and good for evil. So we can't, we can't judge people. That's not our job. That's for God. God says he will judge people in the end. Now, here is the sum of the whole matter. If God told you through an angel or through a vision, to go and kill the Amaleks, then you have, you would have done your duty and save your soul. But if you go in the name of God, when He did not give you the permission to kill and slaughter a nation, then you, then you prophesied falsely in the name of the Lord your God, and you have done God an injustice by killing a nation. Ted, he did not give you permission to kill. Now the Amalekites existed over 3,000 years ago and they decided that they could link the Amalekites to present-day uh, Palestinians. You must prove through DNA that the Palestinians are the descendants of the Amalekites. And if you have no proof, then you cannot link the Palestinians to the Amalekites. And now you have the Protestant evangelical Christians who follow after the pernicious ways of thinking that they are doing God justice. 
by following the Jews' lies and deceit that they are the chosen God people and whatever they do is righteousness. That's incorrect. So righteousness comes from uh, faith and forgiveness of sins. No human can be justified by the works of the law in God's sight because through the knowledge of the law comes sin. So now if the Jews boast of the law and have no faith, can he justify himself in the law when he places himself above the law as a judge? There is only one judge who judges by the law of faith, and that is God. Faith then is equity, bonding both Jew and the Gentiles to God as a unit. Therefore, we are justified by his grace through Jesus Christ, who has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Everyone has sinned, both Jew and Gentiles, and fall short of the glory of God. God will judge both the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time for every purpose and every work under the sun, according to what God chooses to put in your heart. Amen.